We get to the house and I'm like, hey guys, let's go upstairs. So it's me and three guys. We go from the first floor staircase, second floor staircase. Now it's her door. I hear the door. I already passed the door. So now it's the three guys behind me. The, cr the door cracks open. Click, and I'm like, oh, sh I'm like, here we go. This is going to go bad. Yeah. Big lads in the building. Big ODL in the building. Uh, I want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers, man. Everybody who, y'all, yo, y'all been really with these um with these reaction videos and i'm i'm loving it i'm here for it man today we coming with another video and today's video is titled three men ran a train on me now, if you don't know what a train is you need to get up un from underneath that rock that you sleep from under you feel me i feel as though personally personally right personally i feel as though there's a lot of women out here that would love to experience multiple men at the same time. Now, because of the stigma that society have on it, they wouldn't do it. I'm just throwing that out there. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I've, I've been a part of a train before. I've been a part of multiple trains. You know what? Let me cool out of my head. Let's get to the video. Let's get to the video. I'm snitching on myself knowing I'm married. All right, so back in the day, 30, I used to do a lot of modeling and a lot of promotion with flyers and clubs and just different things like that. Nothing to do with the, um, I would say, stripping industry. Let's just say that this was a really crazy, most, this is one of my most memorable breakup situations, I think. Okay? I had just finished doing a photo shoot. Hey, yes, I'd love to get a copy of my pictures. Let's go to my house and let's go download these photos. No harm. No harm at all. Right? I mean, it's okay. simple. You did a photo shoot, you want a copy of your photos, the photographer and the people that were orchestrating the whole thing are there, they're present, you're like, Hey, I have nothing to hide, I'm not doing anything crazy, this is completely harmless, what could possibly go wrong? You got rizzed up. Wait, I take that back, I think everything went motherfucking wrong that day. Y'all ready? <laughs> she got rizzed so up by the, the cameraman. And I see that my ex-boyfriend's mom's car is there, and I'm like, oh shit, here we go. I'm like, I hope she doesn't turn this into a big fucking deal. Me and this woman have never gotten along. Her son is her only child. He's a mama's boy. It was a really weird odd type of son-daughter. I mean, son-mother relationship. It was very, just very odd. Let's just say she never got over the fact that her the son. baby daddy left her or she left him. I don't know how it happened. The point is they're not together. At some point, they couldn't even stand each other. So it was really bad. She had a very weird attachment to her son. She kind of thought it was her husband. Hey, yo. Yeah, it's a lot of y'all women out here like that, man. Your son ain't your, ain't your new man, okay? He not your new man. It's, it's, it's females out here. They, they, them and they, they uh, boyfriend or husband or whoever, they not together no more, but they have a child. And she start treating the child like it's her, her boyfriend damn near. I mean, they ain't doing no Jerry Springer shit, but I'm just saying, it's just like, you getting jealous when he, he start dating and shit like that. Come on, okay? Go get your own. I, look, the first time I met her, I got cussed out. The first time I met her, cussed out. All kind of fuck you bitches and everything. I'm like, oh, oh my damn. God, I'm not trying to fuck with your moms. Like, I'm straight, that bitch is crazy, I'm good. Avoided her at all costs. You're supposed to leave right, off so of that. That's drama. After he had lived with me for about five years or whatever the case was, and I had asked him to pay rent, which is another fucking story, he puts the house key on my coffee table, which means I'm not going to help you pay rent. Oh, okay. So he was going to firefighter school the whole time, finally graduates firefighter school, buys himself a three-family home, moves his mother into the second floor. I'm like, why did you move your mom into the second floor? Oh, she's going to help me pay the mortgage. She's giving me $700 a month. Nah. Don't worry. It's not going to be a problem. She like, goosed him. are in a full-blown relationship. At what age? He was still living with his mother. She goosed him. She goosed him. Yo, they do that. Exactly. Um, and he, from the, he never really moved out on his own. Like, he would come stay at my house, and he was living with his mom. If you move from your mother's house and get a crib... And then you move your mother in, you didn't technically moved out. You didn't move out. Y'all just switched house. Y'all still roommates. She goosed them, son. You gotta be you gotta be very careful about that. Some of us I I don't have that type of situation with my moms, but like a lot of niggas don't they don't be peeping that shit. Like you in a full blown relationship and your moms is living with you and your girl. That's weird. Even vice versa, like your mom you in a full blown relationship and your moms is living with you. 
and your bo- and your boyfriend or, or your or your husband. That's fucking weird. That's weird. So whenever he would get mad, he would go back to his mom's house, and I'm just like, are you in a relationship or not? Like you keep running back to your mom's house. He buys a three family house, moves her into the second floor. I'm like, this is the worst. You need to hire, but the job sites aren't helping. Hold on, hold on, that phone. What you need? Worst idea ever, because this bitch cannot stand me. She cannot stomach me. This is stupid. I guess she felt like I was trying to replace her. Like I would cook, clean. Obviously, I was fucking yeah. her son. So obviously, you the side chick in your own relationship. relationship. Jealous freak. She's she's just I don't, I don't know some. That's just a different type of creature. I mean, it was just weird. Anywho. We get to the house and I'm like, hey guys, let's go upstairs. So it's me and three guys. We go from the first floor staircase, second floor staircase. Now it's her door. I hear the door. I already passed the door. So now it's the three guys behind me. The, cr- the door cracks open. Click, and I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, here we go. This is going to go bad. So I go upstairs. I unlock the door. I go into my house. All right. Hmm. Not even... Two or three minutes go by and the phone rings and I literally prepped the guys and I said, hey, listen, you are about to see a fucking spectacle. I'm pretty sure um, that my ex-boyfriend's, um, I'm pretty sure that my ex-boyfriend's mother called him, called him. I know she called him. I know she called him. They're like, they're like, well, what do you mean? We're just here to download some pictures. Like the photographer's like, we're not here for anything else other than to conduct business. And I'm like, no, I understand, but you guys don't understand. This bitch is crazy. Like, I'm trying to give you a heads up. She's not all there. We're about to have a problem. I'm just bracing you for what's about to come. They're like, no, no, if anything, you know, we could just leave. And I said, no, you don't understand. It's too late for that. Wait, hold on now. Literally, the phone rings. The little SD card is already in the computer, so I'm downloading the pictures. We only had two or three minutes. It was turn the computer on, put the SD card in. I'm explaining myself to the guys as this is about to happen because I already know what's going to happen. The phone rings. It's my ex-boyfriend calling from the firehouse. Yeah, ready for this? Hello? Hey, what's up, babe? You motherfucking whore! <laughs> you that you got three motherfuckers in the house <laughs> and they fucking you and all kind of moaning and groaning Oh, and shit! And they're running a train on you? <laughs> Yo! Yo! Mom's like, juiced up the story. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Mom's juiced up the story. Okay, I'm like, so who do you believe? Me or your mom? Because I'm, yes, I am standing here with three men. The photographer and the person that put all this stuff together for the promotions, for the flyers. And I'm downloading my pictures. If I was trying to hide three dudes, it's, I'm explaining this to him on the phone. If I was trying to hide three dudes, I wouldn't have brought them to the house. Shit, sometimes you got to hide shit in plain sight. Parked right out front of the door. You're not making much sense. Do you really believe what your mom is telling you? You know what? Fuck you. Ba, 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 ba. Click. Damn. I'm like, you guys, I'm so sorry. Let's just get this done as soon as possible. I got to get you guys out of his house. He's acting like a lunatic because she lied. And he's like, but she's lying. Like, we're, we've only been here a few minutes. I'm like, I know she's lying. You know she's lying. There's no talking him out of this. It is what it is. His mom is crazy. Not even two seconds go by after I'm done saying that. And all I hear is click, click. And I'm like, did this bitch just open the front door? I didn't even know she had keys to the house. This is my thought process. Nah, you got to get rid of him. This bitch has keys to the house. You got to get rid of your boyfriend. She's coming up in my space. Like, I'm the side chick, and she the main chick. Didn't I say that? that rights up in here. I oh, said, hell no. Wait a minute now. I said that. That was my thought process. So I tell the dudes, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, yo, please, whatever happens today, just know that this has been a long time coming. She turns the doorknob. Oh, my God. And I'm walking towards the front door. She turns the door. She comes in. You fucking lying whore. I knew it. I knew it. So now here come the dudes behind me, fully dressed, because it's only been about five or six minutes at this time, fully fucking dressed, no signs of sexual activity, no signs of anything like that. Yo, that's that fuck- she sees them. That's fucking crazy. Fully dressed with photographer equipment, cameras, flyers. 
she sees what it is and they're literally walking up and they're like ma'am we are so sorry we are about to get out of the house don't worry and i said no 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 i'm gonna need some witnesses y'all gonna stay right here because i'm gonna need some witnesses this bitch is crazy trust me when i tell you she ain't all there and she if you guys leave she's gonna say i did something to her and she's gonna call the police and she's gonna get me arrested mm. she ain't all there y'all ain't going nowhere take a seat Sit down. The elevator don't go to the top <laughs> just, floor. Just sit right there. They were like, are you sh no, sit right here. I'm going to need a mm. witness. You don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. She goes downstairs and comes right back up with oil in her hands, talking about, you, you dirty whore. You need an exorcism. And starts putting oil crosses in the bedroom. <laughs> and I'm looking. Hold on. She's put it. Hey, yo, hold on. Yo, all right. She Hispanic, right? I'm guessing her boyfriend Hispanic, too. And the mom's Hispanic, yo. That sound like... That sound... Because my, my boy is Dominican. My boy is Goya. I call him Goya because he eat a lot of beans. But my boy Greg is Dominican, bro. And she is describing, like, how his moms be acting. <laughs> yo, she's describing she's how his moms be acting. in the bedroom. Talk about, you are the devil. May God be with you, dear holy Jesus, take this woman and save her spirits. And I'm just like, is she doing the Holy Ghost dance? Is she doing the Holy Ghost dance right now? I'm like, I told you, I sit down, this is going to get good. I said, sit down. She's like, you're a fucking whore. You're a fucking whore. Get out of my son's fucking house. And she's... She couldn't wait to tell you to get out of her son's house. She couldn't wait to tell you to get her son's house. You're a fucking whore. I was just like, what is it to you? You ain't fucking your son, you crazy bitch. I was like, you get the fuck out. You in my house. Mm. You in my space. You get the fuck out. Mm. They're like, oh, my God. But that's his mother. I said, y'all don't understand. I was like, she's been cussing me out forever. He's like, yeah. She literally said. You're putting a train on her. You're just as dirty as this whore is. What happened? What happened to the sound? What happened to the sound? Now nah, hold on, yo, hold on. She was getting, she was getting lit just now. Hold on. What happened to the sound? And he's like, whoa, wait a minute. He's like, ma'am. He's like, we're leaving, we're leaving. So they're trying to like literally step on. I was like, no, no, no. One of y'all gotta stay here. One of y'all gotta stay here. Hold on a second. She said, like, bitch, fuck you. So I said, oh, 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 go fuck myself. Go fuck myself. You punched her in the face. Oh, yeah. It's about to go, go grab the motherfucking popcorn niggas. Grab the motherfucking popcorn. It's like, Punch in the this face. Bitch. I open the bedroom door. I go in the room. I pull out a box of dildos. Straight up. Get ready because it's coming. She's like, holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you and all your things. All your demons going to get out of you, girl. And I'm sitting there like, what you do the dildos? dildos, right? You threw them at her. I'm in my mid-20s. And I'm like, oh, go fuck myself. Oh, yeah? Well, which one should I fuck myself with? And I grabbed the first deal that I fucking, I could find. This is crazy shit. And I threw it out of, boop, boop, hit the bitch in the head. Dildo to the face, bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, you know what? I gotta have all these dildos lined up because the nigga you fighting for, like he's your man, can't fuck for shit. Oh! Bad little. Fuck you, you stupid motherfucker. Get the fuck out my house. And she's like, oh, you need. And she gets like. Then she starts praying. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, you old Dean. You old Dean. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta fess that nigga up in front? You... Oh, that's foul. Dear Jesus. I cannot believe my ears are my eyes. I cannot believe my ears are the scenery. And I was like, oh, 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 all the scenery. All the scenery. And I was like, and I can make my ass clap. And I start clapping my ass. Bah, 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 bah. And I was like, oh, and guess what? Guess what? I'm taking the rest of these motherfucking dealers because it's fucking over. Fuck you and fuck your son. Now I'm walking down the stairs and she's like, I'm going to pray for you, child. You're a demon. I said, you can keep your son. Bye. Bye, crazy bitch. You can keep your son fucking out of here. Yo. She chases me down the stairs. We're outside now. Time out. The guy's like, oh my gosh, should I call the police? I said, call the police. I said, for what? I was like, I just needed some witnesses that this bitch was crazy. I said, it's okay. I never come back to this house. I left everything I had there. I left everything I had there Damn. and literally never spoke to him again for like, I don't know how long. Next time I bumped into him, I was at Starfish Market, buying myself a fish sandwich. And he's like, he's like, it was like a month and a half later. He's like, hey, hey, um, did you want to talk? Like, no, nigga. And I was like, I just looked at him and I walked away. 
Yeah. I was so disgusted because in my head I'm saying to myself, I've been with you for about eight years now. Damn. And you really gave your mother keys, keys to the to house. To marital home. Nah, bruh. Nah. He's like, you don't understand. Nah. You don't understand. And nah. I just, I just let him. Nah. I just walked away. You can't I, I do that. I had to have a conversation, but I was so. Son. So pissed. <laughs> but either way, that was the last time I was at that. Hey, man. Hold on. Let me. <clears throat> nah, you can't do that. Like, that shit ain't even cool. Uh, we, uh, I got a 